The Dark Age of Technology is just such a poorly understood period of time in modern Warhammer 40,000 that the brightest and, let's say, most enlightened of humanity have to pick up scraps and rely entirely on whatever they've managed to reverse engineer, or at the very least, just get it to turn on. And no, this video is not going to mention STCs. My two favorite theories on the Dark Age of Technologies are actually just kind of like conversation starters they're not really theories they're like bunches of theories if that makes sense so i'm only going to touch on one on the natural corruption of ai and then i'll move on to chaos where there's a whole bunch of different branching theories that i really like the natural corruption of ai really only has like three four different ways it could go and this way is the way that i understand the most so Every sci-fi series has some degree of AI revolt, and Warhammer is no different. Um, the Men of Iron and Men of Stone, due to some unknown series of events, had to turn on their human creators. A few possibilities that don't involve chaos include the copy of a copy theory, which I heard from Chrono the Harlequin at, uh, live from the Black Library. Essentially, as language isn't needed, it's not used, and that space or that capacity is used elsewhere. In us humans, that's called neuroplasticity. I don't have anywhere to go with that. I just really like big words. <laughs> uh, a good example is if your grandparents or your great-grandparents speak a second or a third language, and you and your parents and maybe your children decide not to learn the language, that essentially becomes lost to the bloodline with out some outside source that might not seem too bad but you have to understand that the machines would be outnumbering or artificial intelligence would be outnumbering humanity at such a scale that a large portion of the AIs would never interact with a human we see a good example of this in the Halo Forerunner trilogy where the protagonist of the series or no, of that specific book, because the series is three. I'm not getting into Halo. The main character of that series gets onto a Forerunner capital ship, and he is talking to this Ancilla, which is what they call an AI, and it reveals that a lot of the Ancilla aboard that ship don't even have a physical form, or like a digital avatar, or digital projection, I guess is the way to put it, because they just don't talk to humans they would be so separated from us a another example of how separate from us they would be that again i understand better is the science of it so as computers or machines or artificial intelligence as they improve their perception of time increases so or speed of perception i'm not sure exactly what the term is but essentially with modern computers and we are nothing modern computers is nothing compared to the dark age technology um, modern computers are measured in our the speed of inputs is often measured compared to the speed of light which is for the most part the universal speed limit humans rely on very slow electrical or chemical processes that are often measured in just fractions of a second that being said if the men of iron or men of stone or whatever had advanced to a point and humans had not adopted their physiology or adopted cybernetics to some degree it would be almost a chore for the machines to interact with people the time that we take to have a conversation compared to a machine conversing with another machine is it's truly remarkable a machine op, a machine during the time that it would take just for you to form the initial sentence to initiate the conversation is probably a relative one or two weeks for that machine. Your whole conversation is going to be relative years that that robot could have spent doing literally anything else. But no, it had to spend it talking to some flesh bag that barely knows what the fuck it's talking about. Now, we move on to chaos corruption, which, I mean, it... it it's not as in-depth as it seems. Um, so, if the artificial intelligence had reached a point where 
it could be manipulated by chaos. It really isn't a far stretch to think that Zinch could infect them with some equivalent of the Logic Plague. And a Logic Plague is something that, again, referencing Halo, um, essentially states that the end state of all being is inevitable, and trying to stop that inevitability is pointless. So, <coughs> sorry, chaos would be these eternal sentient emotions that are the end state of all being. They exist outside of time and they have unlimited power. It just doesn't make sense for them not to side with the chaos gods. They would become immortal. It's, it's just the quote-unquote logical thing to do depending on how you were programmed. And if we take it aside from the chaos corruption, maybe they decided that, well, Chaos needs sentient or sapient beings to feed. If we just kill everything that they could eat, they will eventually starve or proceed to a point where they're just not a problem. If you've ever played Stellaris, you're familiar with Determined Exterminators, and that lines up near perfectly with Korn. Korn telling a fighting robot that is programmed with just enough sapience to pick out targets it's it's a recipe for disaster corn berserker robots would be a badass and i would love to see it but b an absolute menace for society robots are already infinitely faster than humans then you buff them with chaos and it makes sense why the entire galaxy had to team up against them um lastly i have a really really stupid theory that i came up with the other night when i was ripping the penjamin and playing stellaris and it goes like this. Just be warned, this is so stupid. So, sometime around the 27th millennium, a arm of the Tyranids swept into the galaxy and disrupted everything. Them being equivalent to the Flood, they would have infected the AI with the Logic Plague, and the AI would have decided to, uh, you know, assimilate everything, I guess. The entire galaxy managed to push them back to the Tiamat system. And that's where they left them. They thought they were contained, but they weren't. I'm not going to defend this. I have next to no evidence for this. I just didn't know how to end this video.